It's that time of year, a lot of hustle and bustle, but we've got to remember our loved ones, including our pets, and help keep them safe this holiday season. So we want to welcome Chloe Sternlich to the show. Uh, yes, uh, Chloe, I'm thinking about my little guys. I got two little, uh, boy, I've got a Maltese, and uh, basically, you know, he gets into some trouble sometimes. So what can we do to keep them safe? And what's different about this holiday season <laughs> compared to others? <laughs> Yeah, I, I love Maltese. I have a Havanese myself, very similar. Um, there are, are a, a few things I think that make this holiday season so extra special for our pet parents and our pets. Uh, it's the first time in a while that pets and pet parents and friends and family members might be getting together in person for the holiday season. And we've got 11 million new pets that have entered the home since the start of the pandemic. Uh, so these pets may be meeting these family members for the first time. And for our pets who have been in the homes for a while, this might be a very exciting and happy reunion for our pets and family members and friends in person, uh, which I know is very exciting for me. Uh, and 80% of pet parents who uh, were involved involved in a survey that we conducted said that they were more excited to spend the holiday season with their pet this year than their human family members. So I think that we're just showing the love for pets this holiday season. We're very excited to celebrate with them this year. Yeah, my pets even have their own ornaments on the tree. <laughs> okay, so uh, how can we get our, you know, I'm a proud pet oh. parent. <laughs> how can we get our pets uh, fully ready for the holidays? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So we've got a few amazing options for our pet parents to get them ready for the holiday season. First, we've got our merry makings collection where we've got toys and treats, matching PJ sets for the family uh, where they can match with their pet, which I'm really excited about. Uh, and we've got items just for cats and dogs, but for guinea pigs, gerbils, uh, we've got things for bearded dragons. Um, so, so we've got a little bit of something for everyone. Um, and we also have seasonal holiday grooming packages so our pets can look their best for those family members that may not have seen them in a while. Um, and it's kind of just awesome ready gear that is right here in our Ready Soho store and at our local pet care centers and online where you get coats and sweaters so your pet can feel cozy and warm this holiday season. Very nice. And I talked about uh, you've got so many nice decorations there. I've got some ornaments and lots of decorations at my house. Um, but we got to be safe. You know, the pets uh, can sometimes get into trouble. What's our watch out list to keep our pets safe from some of those beautiful holiday decorations? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you just look at this here, it's just a ball of fun, right? So we want to make sure that we are uh, thinking about decorations and items that could potentially pose a risk to our pets. Ornaments, tinsel, things like that. Um, and looking at food as well. It's not just our decorations, but taking a look at our, our holiday table. Turkey skins, uh, turkey bones, mm -hmm. onions, sweets that are on the dessert table, uh, anything super salty or spicy. Those are all items to avoid. And I'm also going to always recommend your conversation with a veterinarian to get a deeper understanding of what is okay and not okay for your pet. But you can also choose to go a, a route where, where we have items for your pet to chew on, treat, rawhide free alternatives, wholehearted choose, our cute Mary Makings cupcakes right over here. Uh, so your pet can be involved in the holiday safely and comfortably and you don't have to worry about posing any kind of risk or danger. Very nice. Good advice there. And I've got Uncle Johnny and Peggy coming from Maryland. And, you know, you worry about sometimes how those pets can behave in front of folks they're not used to. So can you help us address that? Yeah. Yeah. You know, there is, is so much that goes into how they're behaving, also how they're feeling and their mental health when we're in these, these environments, right? And what our holiday looks like. So you want to think about what your specific holiday is going to look like and start preparing your dog for that in small doses, whether that's having an area that they can retreat to or introducing them to people that they may be meeting for the first time uh, before it's the actual holiday get together, if you can. Um, and I'm also gonna recommend, again, partnering with your veterinarian and or a dog trainer is going to be so helpful in guiding you through this process. We have dog training, of course, Petco Positive Dog Training. You can get that at your local pet care center, as well as online. We have group classes and private lessons that can help our pet parents get started on this training journey before the holiday parties and excitement happen. Okay, it sounds like we're ready to spoil our pets, but there are also so many pets and shelters in need. <laughs> How can we give back? Yeah, I mean, the holiday time is a great time to give back, and we have a few options for our pet parents. You can donate at your local pet care center at the register with the rest of your holiday goodies, and you can also get a photo with Santa and your pet for a donation to Pet Love, and you can keep that photo for your memories forever. <laughs> All right, Chloe, uh, thank you so much for being on our show. And finally, where can we go for some more information? 
Yeah, thank you. So you can head over to petco.com slash holiday for more information on the best gifts and tips for your pet. Thank you again. And yes, for more information, you can also go to our website for some paulrific information, firstcoastliving.net. Coming up, tools to help you tackle your DIY projects. And jewelry, an expert shows off the latest trends and gift ideas for all budgets.